Hello everybody, it's Sad Crowman, and welcome back to my channel. About a year ago, maybe, I picked up this book called The Astrology of You and Me, and it has a lot of really interesting information in it. So you can take any astrology sign. Let's say our boss is a Cancer, and we can figure out things about the Cancer boss. So it can be a mistake to deny or underestimate the dominant qualities of the Cancer boss. For example, it'll just go on and on and on and tell you everything you need to know about the Cancer boss. It'll tell you how to ask them for a raise, how to break bad news to them, and this is all based on uh, the tropical sun sign. So that's the sign most people know, and the sign most people will be able to give you easily, right? So you can just say, hey boss, what's your sign? They'll probably tell you because they'll probably know it. It's not like Sidero, which is what I usually read with, which um, everybody's kind of out of touch with because nobody knows their Sidero placements like they do. Their uh, tropical placements. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. But you know what I found the most interesting about this? is not that it can tell you all about the Scorpio sibling or the Sagittarius spouse or, God forbid, the Capricorn client. No, I'll tell you what I want to know. I want to know what my crush is like in bed. And god damn it, what do you know? It's in here. I can't post this one on Patreon because I have minors on it, sorry. So I'm not gatekeeping this information from you guys anymore. I'm going to share. All you have to do is go up to your crush and have the nerve to ask them for their zodiac sign. And you will find out what they are like in bed, according to the astrology of me and you. And this is written by um, Gary Goldschneider. He's also the author of two other astrology books that I really swear by. So, alright, let's get started. First, we will do sex with the Aries romantic partner. Aries are not much for delayed gratification. They usually push for what they want immediately, and when they don't get it, they become very unhappy, quiet, and often depressed. Aries want what they want when they want it, and they usually get it. Although they can be top performers, somehow you never really find out much about how they feel about you or the experience. Don't try asking either, since they figure you should already know how wonderful it was or they were. Headstrong and impulsive publicly, Aries can be very tender and sweet in private. However, they may not always want to wait until the surroundings are more comfortable or private to express their more passionate feelings. Alright, next is if your crush is a Taurus. Sex with the Taurus romantic partner. Taurus romantic partners tend to be matter-of-fact and frank about sex. They're not at all shy about talking about it, or for that matter, initiating it. It is often truly carnal sex for its own sake that they are interested in, more or less satisfying their hunger for it as they would food or sleep. It is often truly carnal sex for its own sake that they are interested in, more or less satisfying their hunger for it as they would for food or sleep. Consequently, you may be less than satisfied with the lack of mystery or subtlety in their approach to the subject. Also, the act can be curiously impersonal, causing you to wonder if they really know or even care who you are. Alright, next is if your crush is a Gemini. Sex with the Gemini romantic partner. Gemini is like variety. Quality is generally more important than quantity, so they expect you to always be at your best for them. They will also expect you to know when they want sex and to present them with an interesting palette of experiences or at least to be open to their need for experimentation. In general, they are easily aroused and therefore easily satisfied, at least in comparison with most other signs. Delayed gratification of pleasure is not one of their strong points, so their emotional intelligence tends to be low. Their tendency to talk before, after, and during sex may drive you up the wall, but you will have to put up with it if you are with a Gemini. Next up, if your crush is a Cancer. Sex with the Cancer romantic partner. 
sex can be enjoyable with a cancer romantic partner. As long as they are getting a fair amount of what they really like, they are generally up for pleasing you and being responsive to your needs. They also have a tendency in this area towards self-sacrifice, but beware that this does not eventually develop into self-pity and resentment, for it will eventually boomerang. In extreme cases, Cancers can make themselves very unhappy, and not always be fully aware of the situation, particularly when they have idealized their partner or their relationship from the outset. Next is if your crush is a Leo. Sex with the Leo romantic partner. This is one area that can be highly gratifying if you are up to it. Leos tend to be sexually oriented, so they will generally expect frequent sex of a high quality, which takes into account their special needs and wants. There will be little doubt left in your mind that you are pleasing them, since they will actively spur into the proceedings both physically and verbally. Not at all shy when it comes to such matters. Leos want what they want when they want it. Next up is if your crush is a Virgo. Sex with the Virgo romantic partner. Even the strictest of Virgos, and often precisely the most uptight ones, tend to let it all hang out in private. Even venturing into kinky and strange sexual realms, they can be surprisingly aggressive and responsive when they get you alone, most often on their own turf. The experience of being attacked in the bedroom, or any other room, by a seemingly staid, even prudish Virgo, can be quite a memorable one. Revealing themselves in private, when and where they choose to, is a true Virgo specialty. Do not refer to it later or try to tease them about their behavior, since the Virgo sense of humor has strict limits. Next is if your crush is a Libra. That's my tropical sun sign, by the way. Sex with the Libra romantic partner. Libras are very sexual creatures, so they like not only having sex, but also talking about it. Not averse to raiding their partners, they will discuss their own past exploits, make comparisons, and let you know how you are doing, even during the act. Libra romantic partners will examine and analyze every aspect of foreplay and intercourse. They are open to experimentation, being inventive in all sexual matters, but often consider it their duty to teach you how to do things. Their stamina is legendary, so between lovemaking and talking, don't expect to get much sleep when spending the night with your Libra romantic partner. I can vouch for that. All my exes were terrible in bed. Next is if your crush is a Scorpio. Sex with the Scorpio romantic partner. Scorpios have a notorious reputation for sexual interest, involvement, and performance. Frequently, they pride themselves on it, but not openly. Usually, it manifests as a quiet self-confidence in sexual matters. They have the knowledge that they can come up with whatever their partner requires. Nor are they reticent to express their own wishes, which are well-defined and frequently demanding. Their unavoidably unconventional and even kinky attitudes towards sex should not be surprising. Scorpios love to explore the highways and byways of the sexual terrain, leaving little to the imagination of their partners. Next is if your crush is a Sagittarius. Sex with the Sagittarius romantic partner. More often passionate rather than sensuous types, Sagittarians do not usually dwell on the preliminaries or aftermaths of lovemaking. Direct, ardent, and sometimes overwhelming, they can be counted on to provide a high level of excitement. Fulfillment is not necessarily a constant accompaniment to such frenetic activities for either one of you, but such experiences will be memorable in most cases. Spontaneous expression is a Sagittarian specialty, and surprise is an essential characteristic of such behavior. Tame and predictable behavior on your part may turn them off or spur them to break through your defenses with extreme forms of arousal. Next is if your crush is a Capricorn. Sex with the Capricorn romantic partner. Capricorns like frequent sex as long as it is with someone they care for and see future possibilities with. Accepting good sex and its deepening emotional benefits, Capricorns realize its importance in the development of a romantic relationship. 
Sex and love are the same thing for many Capricorns, and only a few of them will treat either one of these in a superficial or wantonly excessive fashion without the other. Capricorns expect equal commitment in the romantic matters from their partners and will not continue for long in a relationship in which they are the only one who is giving. Next is if your crush is an Aquarius. Sex with the Aquarius romantic partner. Aquarians may love doing it with you, but unfortunately they may equally well enjoy doing it with someone else. The best advice in this area is to have fun while you can and not pay too much attention to what they do in their time away from you. If Aquarians feel free and not judged by you, they will definitely stick around longer. But when they feel the noose tighten around their necks or sense that the tender trap of marriage is about to be sprung, they are likely to disappear with the speed of light. And last but not least, next is if your crush is a Pisces. Sex with a Pisces is usually never-ending and frequent. When Pisces is sexually attracted to a person, they may remain in a high state of arousal for weeks, months, or even years. Although they can be accused of being easily excited or turned on, in fact, they will give themselves fully on a deep emotional level to only a few romantic partners. With Pisces, love is exalted to a high position, and in its absence, sex may assume the proportions of a prosaic, uninspired act. So there you have it. Now you know what your crush is like in bed according to the Astrology of Me and You by Gary Goldschneider. If you like my readings, please check out my Patreon. In it, you will find all of my readings at least a week early about. So early readings, extra readings. I'm currently working on a library of Patreon-only readings, and there's at least one of those updated each month along with a personal vlog of mine. Uh, and all members, regardless of what tier you select, even the $1 tier, will receive access to my private Discord server. So that's it. Please rate, subscribe, and blessed be motherfuckers. Thank you to all my patrons, and that's it. See ya.